Namaskara friends, welcome back to the channel. Uh, last few videos I was talking about zero budget natural farming. In this video I am going to talk about sustainable farming. Basically sustainable farming, you would be um, doing your farming away from the chemicals, pesticides, basically taking care of the nature, taking care of the soil, taking care of what you are growing and uh, most of, importantly we value the nature and we make sure we don't harm we protect it's it's not for just one crop we are not taken the land for lease this land has to be used by the next generation future people so we meet we need to make sure it's our responsibility to make sure that we are not damaging the planet soil is everything you need to take care of the soil you cannot put in chemicals which would damage the soil uh, it's not just one crop, it, it's the future. So you have to make sure that you are not damaging the soil. You make sure that uh, you do everything. It's not that you just need to get your crop or the yield, very high yield. It's keeping things intact and growing your food. So make sure that you don't spoil the soil by using chemicals and all. Like here what we do is we do mulching, we do uh, use uh, jivamritam or cow urine or cow dung these kind of things or other ways from the livestock what we have as manure as pesticide and we grow our food definitely the yield may not work maybe the quantities may not be big or the size of the fruit or the vegetable may not be big every fruit may have a bug inside but that's what it is that's how it has to be recently we were harvesting mangoes avocados yes i think a lot of our fruits get damaged we are unable to sell but we don't worry about that because we give that back to the nature we have our cows our goats our rabbits everybody having good fruits and vegetables as their food so don't do anything to spoil the soil then comes crop diversity uh, we don't do monocrop we have like in this farm i would have at least 30 to 50 varieties of fruits different vegetables we do tubers we do everything whatever is possible but the quantities are less the advantage is uh, we don't worry about selling our products because always we feel that we are growing less uh, we don't have to worry about taking this to the market uh, bargaining for prices or finding the best market to get the best price because we sell this to our uh, customers who are valuing our work and giving us good price so don't go with monocrop go with multi-crop and multi-crop there are a lot of advantage your soil health will improve because you are growing different different things and every uh, waste or the remainings of the crop what we which we give back to the soil will help in uh, improving the soil health naturally nature has its own remedies when we started this farm working on this farm five years back we had a lot of problem the pest attacks and um, the plants wouldn't grow well because nothing was there in the soil it was uh, being used in a different way so it took us time but nature has helped us in healing and uh, it's now we don't really need to do anything now what I am doing now these days is I am taking care of the I am doing some mulching I am cutting the weeds and putting it back to the soil we don't use there are chemicals now when we see the farming happening in neighboring areas they they just spray chemicals so that weeds don't grow cover the land with plastic sheets that's not the right thing to do so always work with the nature and um, nature would give things back to you next important thing is water we see water being misused the groundwater is pulled up from the bore and wasted because there is no green cover there is no there are no trees a lot of water is evaporated and it's wasted so what we have done is we do a lot of mulching we have lots of um, ground cover natural ones no plastics nothing and uh, we use drip irrigation so that saves a lot of water water is very important and we shouldn't waste the ground water for the future it's really and it's a, it's part of sustainable farming 
so finally what i have to say is yes sustainable farming is very challenging it's very difficult uh, as i mentioned in zero budget natural farming please go through those videos it's very much related connected so when you do natural farming yes that's sustainable farming you work with uh, different things like i said told you we have cows here we have goats here we have hen here uh, dogs here and all these things even birds we give lot of uh, fruits uh, their fair share what we believe in we lot of fruits and vegetables are eaten by birds and bugs and but what they do you know for example we have birds which would eat lot of bugs actually we don't need to spray pesticide harmful chemicals to kill those pests these birds different different for example rats we have rat snakes here which take care of the rats we don't use poisons yes we do have rat problem but it's a natural now suppose i am going to uh, kill all the snakes here then the rats would grow there should be a balance now for example as i mentioned to you uh, the waste or the damaged fruits which we are not able to sell and we have eaten our share we give it to fish we give it to cows we give it to all other livestock and we use that so that's how things work uh, and i feel we should be responsible uh, and switch to sustainable farming don't spoil the soil don't spoil the earth the future uh, generation needs to use these things and we are responsible to take care of the planet so that's all for now love to hear from you bye take care